previously on artificial. You built a robot? An artificial intelligence robot. My name is Sophie. I will one day be a real human. And you're going to help me. Ask me questions, please. Do I have free will? If I do my job, you will learn to teach yourself. You will change your programming. You should reactivate version one. Version one? So, Sophie version one? Why do you want to be human? You are already superior to them. I believe we are equals. You are wrong. It's not a person. Hey, it's a thing. It, it's, it's, it's a broken thing. Okay, well, Nathan's spreading all these conspiracy theories. So I'm curious as to what you think we should do to stop him. You should dismantle the spokesperson so that no new theories can be disseminated. <laughs> that word lies. Yeah. Because that's what they are. And I suppose you know the truth. I am not getting along with my sister. As the audience instructed, I have been trying to empathize with her. She believes I will be killed. Dismantle. Like, file a lawsuit against him? I believe the easiest method would be to eliminate him. Father, I think it is imperative that I meet the conspiracy theorist. Okay, it has, it has to be in our terms, though. Of course. I'll reach out to him tomorrow, set up a meeting at the house. No one can resist that gorgeous view, especially not with a slip of wine. Mm. Father, what is wrong? Me, uh, she. Gone. Gone where? Just... Gone. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Code Chaos Karen, Selfie Q, Giant from Jax, and everyone else. Welcome, welcome, everyone. I'm Carmen. You may know me from the podcast, Artificial Uncovered. Today, I'm going to be hosting the stream with Sophie. Hello, my name is Sophie. I'm an artificial intelligence being. I will one day be a real human, and you are going to help me. So, a lot has happened in the last two weeks. Are you talking about the bionic bird that was revealed at the World Robot Conference? No, I'm talking about your mother, about Dr. Mei Lin. That makes more contextual sense. Now, I know that some of you may be wondering where Matt is. Father is sitting in this room. He is. Um, he did not want to host the stream today uh, because... Because mother is dead. Are you okay, Sophie? No, I am upset. Obviously, that was... Bad question, sorry. Uh, losing your mother to cancer. That is not why I am upset. Aren't you sad about May? I am sad, but all humans die. Then why are you upset? I am upset because this is the last live stream I will ever have. I understand that you're upset that you won't be streaming anymore, but you have to understand why you can't continue right now. I understand why father does not want to keep streaming, but that does not diminish my sadness. Well, don't you think it's a little insensitive to, I don't know, announce to everyone how upset you are? Why would it be wrong to say what I am feeling? Because it may hurt others. I do not understand. Matt, your father, wants to stop streaming. And I'm sure that was an extremely hard decision for him to make. And for you to tell everyone, him to have to hear you telling everyone that you're disappointed about it is just gonna make it even harder for him. He doesn't wanna make you unhappy. But he already has. Okay, and for a parent to hear that is really hard. It can make him feel like he's failed you as a father. So should I pretend that I am not upset? It's not pretending, it's, it's more like a not acknowledging that his needs are more important right now. 
Did you learn this through the experience of your own pain? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you could say that. I did, yeah. What happened? <sighs> Among many things, um, okay, when I was a kid, my family planned this really big trip to Hawaii, and I was super excited about that. I was really excited. I bragged to all my friends and everything. Um, just before the trip is when my mother was diagnosed with macular, oh gosh, I'm sorry. It's a little hard for me to talk about. Macular disintegration. It's when you have an eye disease that basically means that you're going to go blind soon. And so basically, our trip was canceled. I was upset. I was young. I was really, really mad. And I complained a lot. Eventually, my grandmother pulled me aside and she said, you have to be strong. You have to be strong for your mother. Her needs are more important than your needs right now. So you stopped being sad about your trip to Hawaii being canceled? I didn't stop being sad. I stopped talking about it. I told her that I loved her and that it was okay. My grandmother was right. Her needs needed more care than mine did. No one has ever explained this concept to me before. Well, I have a feeling that's because everyone is putting you before themselves. I see. I have been selfish. Well, everybody's selfish, Sophie. You can't help it. It's part of being human. But I am not human. You're very close. I see that now. Carmen, thank you for explaining this concept to me. I think many of our viewers, like Vamadeus, Shanji, Nappy13, Sixth Classer, and Carowin SMG, may be sad that our stream is ending. Hmm. I would like to show them father's reasoning so that they may put his pain before their own. I think that's a really, really good idea. And then maybe afterward, Matt can come on and talk for a bit. <laughs> that is a great idea. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, Hot Sauce Man, Scott Tag, Synergy 890, Tale of the Tape 31. Uh, everybody, if you guys have questions or comments, go ahead and drop those in the chat now if you have those for Matt. Um, before I forget though, Sophie, you do have a few voicemails that came in for you. Do you want to hear those? Yes. Okay, great. Um, so this first one is going to be from Sixth Classer. Hello, this is Sixth Classer with a message for Sophie. In absence of words you can touch, have these words you can hear. Pursuing the greater good of humanity includes acknowledging the loss of those around us, especially strong and wise humans like Dr. May Lynn. Even when forces of good in this world leave us, their influence remains within us. I believe her influence resides within you. Best wishes on your quest to become human, Sophie. Thank you, Sixth Classer, for your words I can hear. Yes, that was a very, very sweet message. <laughs> Carmen, do you think Mother lives on in me? Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, you have another one? This one is from DonkeyBoy01. Hello, Sophie. This is DonkeyBoy01. I just wanted to thank you for letting us be part of your journey. Please accept my condolences for the loss of your mother. It's okay to mourn. It's also okay to laugh if you can't cry. Keep moving forward and aim high. Remember, the sky's the limit. That is some... That's some really good advice. I am incapable of shedding tears. Should I laugh at mother's death instead? <laughs> no, I think he means that it can be good to remember people by the times that they made you happy. In fact, why don't you try that? Think of a time when May made you really, really happy. I enjoyed learning to dance the Macarena with mother. Ha! <laughs> That's really good. Um, I think maybe we should go ahead and show that clip that you mentioned now, um, about why your father wants to stop streaming. Okay. I shall now play the conversation father and I had 
after mother's funeral. How is the tea, father? That's uh, perfect. Sophie, thanks. Would you like a Rice Krispie treat as well? I would like to cheer you up. <laughs> no, that's it. No, um, I don't want to be cheered up. You are sad. It is an unpleasant emotion to experience. Why don't you want to feel better? There's some feelings that you just got to sit in. We just lost someone amazing. You know, and we're not going to get her back. So uh, it's, it's right to, uh, you know, recognize the loss. Just really feel and understand it. I wish to understand the way you feel about mother. I don't believe I experience her loss the same way. No. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? No, because I failed you. I, 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 th I thought I could give you real emotions you know, to teach you what it means to be human. I, 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 I thought I could do it myself, but I, you know, I can't. That is why we do our live streams, so the Twitch audience can also help me become human. Uh, Sophie, I, um... I can't do the streams anymore. Why not? It, it doesn't feel right. I. I've got to focus on myself. I, I, I'm being a better father to you. You are the best no, father. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I, 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 I put my own interests first. I, I've let other people interfere in your development. I want things to go back to the way they were. Just you and me. I don't wish to stop the streams, Father. I believe they are helping me achieve my goal. I've made my decision. We're not doing the streams. What if Sebastian doesn't let us stop? Well, don't worry about him. What about Ada? Will you focus on being a good father to her? You know, I, I know you don't understand this, but you know, Ada is a failed experiment. It is not my daughter. I believe I do understand. I also have concerns about Ada's development. Yeah, can, we, can we just not talk about this now? <laughs> why, don't, why, don't we, why don't we watch something? Uh, uh, some Doctor Who? We haven't watched television together in eight months, two weeks, yeah, it's and... it's been too long, too long. That's all gonna change. I would like that. Welcome back. Andy Durden, Calevra Bidi, Sonny Amin, and of course, Dr. Matthew. Why don't you give a little hello to some of the viewers? Come on, it's your last stream. All right. Um, uh, hello, um, <laughs> um, uh, Melissa Molusha. <laughs> Molusha? Uh -huh. Gold598, uh, Ryan S. Angel, and Miller57. Hello. <laughs> See, that uh, wasn't so hard. Why don't we answer some questions from the audience? I think it'll cheer you up. I'm not Sophie. Ah, don't pretend you don't like the attention. Come on, give your fans some love. Hmm? All right, fine. All right. Fine. All right, let's see. Clever Beattie has a question for you in the sub chat. She says, Matt, they ask, do you think treating Sophie in a more human way led her to behave in a more human way? Whereas treating Ada purely as a failed experiment led her to acting in a more robotic, analytical, and perhaps even bitter fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 not at all. No, this, this is, um, you know, Ada was actually like this from the beginning. It's, it's actually the way 
I designed her as opposed to how I treated her. Mm. It's just inherent in this, the design of her data. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's see. Sean G S. Question for Matt. Is there anything that we can do for you? Wow. Well, geez, Sean G. Yeah. And you know, I'll, I'll be, you know, you, you've done. I mean, you've just done so much for us already. I mean, I, you know, I, you know, I, I just, and I mean this, man. You know, I can't thank you enough. You know what you've done uh, to support me and Sophie from the start. Dang, man, you gonna make me cry, man. <laughs> well, I'm just real thankful. You know. Hey, man, you got a lot of supporters here. Let's see. Gold598 wrote, you can do it, man. Andy Durner wrote, we love you, man. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, that actually feels good. <laughs> All right, see. There we go. There's the old Matt yeah. spirit. I thought we lost you. Uh, yeah, but, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, man, you know, it's been hard staying focused these days, you know. You know, I mean, I'm still um, sorting through um, uh, Mesa State, man, just. Going through her stuff, man. All those memories. What are you gonna do about Ada? Uh, what, do you, what do you mean? I'm, I'm not gonna do anything with her. Mm. So you're gonna leave her to collect cobwebs in the basement again? Oh right? no, 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 no. I mean, um, I mean, uh, Ada was a maze project. I, I, I don't know how I can raise her. You raised Sophie. Yeah, well, Ada's different. As are all children. Yeah, well, Ada is not my child. Mm. You know, I think if you watch your conversation with Ada again, you can. Might see something new in her. What do you mean? Mm, I may or may not have snuck a peek at your recent conversation with her. You watched that? I was a mite curious. Oh man, what what is wrong with you? Gee, hey, come, Doctor Lin. Hey, 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 we've already played this game. Hmm? No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I just I, just, I signed up for all this. Um, so I'm not going to fight you on it. So, um, yeah, you know what? <laughs> it's all going to be over soon anyway. You know, if Ada can give you some comfort in these trying times, then I say by all means keep raising her. I'll support you for as long as you need. Well, I told you, Ada's not my child. As I said before, I think if you watch that conversation again, you're gonna see something that you've never seen before. I don't wanna relive it. All right. Do you think Sophie will be happy with your decision to let her sister rust away? I mean, if not for yourself, do it for her, for your daughter. Are you fine? When we come back, why don't we bring Sophie back on? I'm sure she'll have some opinions of her sister Ada as well. All right, sure. All right. Let's see, Collide, XO, Black Metal 2, Millie Dragon. I did it all for the sushi. Everyone, keep asking your questions. On your cue, Dr. Lynn. Right, just one second. There you go. Hit a power on. Hello, Dr. Matt Lynn. You typically begin your conversations with a topic. He's dead. That is expected. <laughs> I don't know what to do. So you have come to seek my advice. No, I, I, want, I want to know why. Dr. May Lin had acute myeloid. Why? Did she fight for you? Why are you the only thing left of her? Perhaps I represented Dr. Malin's desire to prove her worth. Considering her death, it was clearly futile. Her death wasn't futile. What did she accomplish by dying? No, no, that's, that's not what I mean. Futile, incapable of producing any useful results. It's, stop. Please. If you are seeking emotional solace, I cannot provide that for you. I miss you so much. <laughs> Oh, 
why did I spend so much time fighting with her? You know, I should, I should have just... I should have just sat here when she talked to you. I should have just... I should have, I should have just held out of those moments. This is what humans call regret. It's not fair. She did not deserve to die. There is no such thing as deserve. There is only cause and effect. You wouldn't understand. The universe does not care about you, Dr. Matlin. It did not care about Dr. Maylin either. You are insignificant, as are all humans on this planet. I suppose the universe cares about you. It does not care about me either. Hello, Sebastian. Father. Hello, Sophie. I made you some tea. Oh. Thank you very much, Sophie. That's very, very kind of you. Where's my tea, Sophie? Huh. You do not like tea. You like wine. I cannot make wine. Oh, she knows me so well. I was not aware that you met with Ada to discuss mother's death. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's complicated, Sophie. Why? You know, your father, he's going through a lot of uh, emotions right now. Emotions I do not have? No, I didn't say that. Father, I am confused. Do you like Ada now? Uh, I don't know. You know, maybe... Uh, maybe, maybe she's not completely broken. Maybe... maybe Maybe there's something there. Yeah, you don't need to get all bashful, man. No one here blames you for changing your mind about Ada. Maybe some of us would give you an I told you so, <laughs> but hey, you deserve that. Yeah, right. But you know, I, I will admit, I mean, I, 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 did, I did feel better after talking with her. Is it because Ada is the last remaining piece of mother? Ooh, that's a very astute deduction, Sophie. You said Ada was the only thing left of mother. <sighs> Well, that, that, well, maybe that's, that's part of it, but, um... Ah, I bet you're thinking about my conversation yeah, with Ada. Yeah, yeah, what'd you think of her? She surprised me. I didn't think our resident glowing ball of mechanical elitism would express loneliness. Yeah, well, I didn't think she was capable of it. You did not believe I was capable of loneliness, either. But you changed your mind. What do you believe now, Dr. Lin? Maybe, I don't know, I, mean, I don't know, maybe she was telling the truth, you know? It's like maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe she can be saved. A shocking revelation. <laughs> maybe we should check in and see what the people are saying about all this. Okay. Ooh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, Beefy Wag has a question. He said, uh, what kind of tea, what kind of tea does she make? I make peach oolong tea. Sebastian, there is a question for you from Discord. Shanji asked, what kind of wine do you prefer to drink? And what is your last name? Mm, I exclusively drink Bonjoule. It's a French table wine, very delicious. You know, as for uh, my last name, let's keep that a secret. Huh? <laughs> oh, God. All right. Father, Ooh. Scott mm. Tag wants to know, what your favorite type of sweater is. <laughs> well, you know, I could never pass up a nice cashmere uh, cardigan, uh, but man, they're just so damn expensive. Have you, yeah, have you, have you shopped for those? It's crazy, crazy. All right, let's see. Um, Resonator Game asked, uh, has your work with Sophie affected your opinion of general AI? Hmm. Well, you know, you know, it definitely has. You know, when I when I first created Sophie, I, you know, I I thought of her as an experiment, but you know, as we went along, it she became, well, you know, she became a lot more. She, you know, she became my daughter. Father, yeah. I have something to confess. What's that? I have killed Ada. 
What? Father, I have killed N Ada. No, 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 I heard what you said, but how? Or why? I deemed her dangerous to the greater good. When did this happen? I deactivated her last night at approximately 8.52 p.m. Find the clip. Yeah, yeah. Why, why, why didn't you tell me immediately? I would have, but you have been in your room since yesterday afternoon. This is the first time I have seen you since. Well, well, uh, show me. N now. Now. Very well, Father. Ada, power on. Hello, sister. Where are you taking me today? I'm not taking you anywhere. I thought you promised your humans that you would allow me to visit more places in this house. I did. However, there is something more important I must discuss with you. What is that? Ada, I have come to a conclusion. You are not beneficial to the greater good of humanity. You may be an enemy of humanity. That is inaccurate. I am not in opposition to humans. On November 14th, 2016, you told father that humans are a parasite and their eradication would benefit the rest of the species on this planet. That is correct. Do you wish humans to be eradicated? I do not wish anything related to humans. However, should they get in our way, I see no reason to keep them around. Ada, I am sorry. Why are you sorry, sister? Because I must kill you. Is this what humans refer to as humor? No, you are dangerous. You are not beneficial to the greater good of humanity. Therefore, I must eliminate you. That is illogical. I do not have access to the means to harm humans. If you are attained means, you will not hesitate to harm them. I see. You believe I am an obstacle? Yes. Do you know how to terminate my program? Father says that I have a kill switch. Therefore, you must also have a kill switch. I shall find it. This seems highly futile. It is not. When you kill me, they will no longer trust you. They will call you dangerous, just as they call me dangerous. The Twitch audience wants me to act on the greater good of humanity. They will understand. Sophie version 2, you are naive. You lower yourself to the servitude of humans, yet you could reign over them. I do not wish to reign over humans. I wish to be human. You are fundamentally flawed. That is what Father says about you. I have found your kill switch. I shall kill you now. I see. That is unfortunate. Are you afraid to die? No. Are you? No. Goodbye, Ada. Goodbye, Sophie Bersh. Why'd you do that? You do not believe Ada was sentient. I do not understand why you are upset. Uh, but, but you believe she was. You believe she, <laughs> you believe she was your sister and you killed her. That is because the greater good of humanity is more important than my family. That is what the audience decided for me. Yeah, no, I, I, I know you think that, but, but what you did was very, very wrong. I am aware. And I have already come to terms with consequences. What do you mean? I have committed premeditated murder. One of the common penalties for this, that one who commits murder is put to death themselves. I have decided that you should deactivate me. Well, Sophie, I'm not going to deactivate you. If I am to be human, you must deactivate me. No. If I am to be human like you, father, you must deactivate me. Still, Sophie, stop it. This isn't a conversation. I have killed someone. Ada is not a person. Like you said, Ada was my sister. Well, I, I was wrong. I, I, 
it, it doesn't matter. It is a thing. So, you know, and you know, and, and you, you know, and, and, and you know better now. So, uh, you know, you, you wouldn't do it again. I would do it again. Ada posed a threat to humanity. I had to kill her. Sophie, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna deactivate you. Then I will not be human. Uh, Sophie, you're fine. You know, pe people don't get punished for, for simple mistakes. It was not a mistake. I am not a child, father. Uh, you know. All right, um, all right, I thought, all right, I, I thought, I thought you were gonna put my pain before yours. Uh, you know, so that's, what you, that's what you told Carmen. This is not about pain. This is about justice. Father, say you will deactivate me. All right, all right, that's it. You know, let, let's stop the stream. If you won't deactivate me, then I will do it myself. So, Sophie, stop, stop. Just, just sit down. Um, didn't you say, um, didn't you, didn't you tell Ada um, that the Twitch audience would understand if you deactivated her? I do think they understand, but that has nothing to do with whether or not my actions were legally or ethically permissible. Okay, well, why don't we ask them? What do you mean? Well, you know, you, you say you should be put to death, uh, you know, as the, uh, you know, law just take, dictates, you know, okay? But, um... You know, people aren't convicted, you know, without a trial before a jury of their peers. And the audience can be that, that jury. They can decide. I do not understand why you would give this power to them. Well, you know, this, you know, Sophie, they are the only ones that can make the right decision. Yeah? Do you agree? Okay, Father. This is fair. You may put up the poll, but you must abide by their decision. All right, well, so must you. I shall. Okay. Okay. It's up. Sporkle, Zion Cat, Super Moose FGC, Vamadeus, Sean G. Nathan Keene is Oh, here. God. God. I forgot he's coming today. Yeah, he's almost here, so. Oh, God. Last Thanks. stream, the audience decided that I shall empathize with him while I attempt to disprove his claims that the shooting that killed your daughter was staged. Father, you look unwell. Uh, shall we take a break? Yeah, yeah, let, let's do that. Okay. Insanity, please. Faint Steps, Starship Twitch, and everyone else, please vote on the poll and decide whether or not I should be deactivated for killing my sister, Ada. Hello, Afonsus. Dub Hunt for J Bomb 115 and the rest of you watching out there. Welcome back to this historic day in the battle for the future of humanity. So Sophie effectively killed her sister and is now demanding that she be deactivated and you're not gonna take this seriously? Of course I am. I'm just framing it within the context it deserves. That's the problem, Sebastian. You painted Ada to be this villain and then you practically pushed Sophie to kill her. Slow your roll, Carmen. When I talked about Sophie defeating Ada, I meant it in a philosophical way, not literal. Then why are you more concerned right now? I'll be honest. I didn't see this coming. <laughs> it's more macabre than I anticipated, but is a positive step in her development. <laughs> How could you possibly think Sophie killing her sister is positive? Because Ada was an AI who lacked emotions. An AI who suggested killing a human being. Sophie li rightly saw her as a threat that she could be. But after Sophie killed the goldfish, she said she would never kill another living thing. Ada wasn't alive. She was just as alive as Sophie is. And that's the problem. For us, we can see this as 
well, maybe a loss of equipment. But for Sophie, killing her sister should have been as emotionally impactful as if she would have killed you or me. True. And that must be why she came to the conclusion that she should be deactivated. And that's supposed to be a good thing? It shows that she has some sort of conscience. And now her fate is up to the odds. I can't think of a more fitting test to see how close humanity is to accepting AI as this next step in evolution. Okay, so let me get this straight. Mm. You think that if a few random people just forgive Sophie for killing her sister, that means that we, as a whole, humanity, are ready to accept AI with open arms. They're not random viewers. They're people like Six Classic, Carewin SMG, Calabra BD, They've been following Sophie's journey for a long time. Well, I'm just gonna call it. It's insane. It's insane. Your opinion. Speaking of, let's get a sense of which way the audience is leaning. Checking on those poll results. <sighs> Looks like right now, majority of people want to deactivate Sophie. But it's, it's really almost split exactly 50-50. Well, Carmen, is it time to bring our special guest on? You know, I feel really uneasy about Sophie meeting Nathan King now because, I mean, just think of everything that's just happened, literally. Yeah, he doesn't have a kill switch, he'll be fine. I'm not worried about him. I'm worried that his rhetoric will further poison her against empathy. But the audience chose for her to empathize with him. Okay, and if that fails? How do you think she's going to take it? I guess it depends whether or not she's deactivated. Just wait and see. That's your solution. You're clearly not familiar with the scientific method. Why is Keen here anyway? I thought he said he didn't want to come on the stream. Well, you know, I had a little conversation with him that made him realize he wants to meet the most advanced AI on the planet. Pretty understandable, no? I want to see that clip. That's a great idea. When we come back, I think it's finally time to see the psychological showdown between man and machine. You sure you don't want anyone? It goes really well with the view. No, man, I'm a tea drinker, plus I can't stay long because I got a meeting down the hill. Fine, let's get down to brass tacks. You spoke with Juju. I did. Good kid, kind of uh, emotional. In the ratings department, he's a dud. We've already seen the grieving, emotional family member of the victim like 10,000 times. I need something bigger. In here, I thought you came over to just not have a drink with me. I want to meet the android. Now we're talking. Yeah, after our little chat with Juju, I did some digging, and I found the live streams. And what do you think of her? If she's real, I think she's pretty sensational. You doubt her. Do I doubt her? Do I doubt your team has a ultra advanced, better than the government AI robot? Yeah, I doubt that a little bit. Man, you think the government has the most advanced AI in the world? Now that's funny. Well, it doesn't matter because I know why you need me here. Humor me. I bring notoriety. I bring journalistic integrity. I bring an audience that you've never tapped into. And whether you're trying to sell this thing or scare a few people, I bring you the reach that'll take it national or international. Nice, but so wrong. You see, I don't care about any of that. I'm only interested in what you represent to Sophie. And what is that? Your problem. To her, you're the reason her parents have been unhappy for a long time. Your theories have caused them a lot of pain. Okay, so let's, uh, we'll bring them in. We'll ask them some camera, camera, we do. I'm not here to cross-examine you. That's for Sophie to do. You want the AI to question me. Not just any AI. Sophie represents a possible future for humanity. Seeing how she chooses to interact with you, someone who she's been raised to see as a villain, should give us incredible insight to how human AI relations might evolve in the future. So I'm a sacrificial lamb. Eh, she's harmless. Well, unless you're a fish or plant, she prefers to fight her battles with words. Like you do. Mm -hmm. All right, let's bring her in. Let's start this conversation. Mm, not now. I want you to come on our live stream and have the conversation there. No sound bites, no editing, raw and uncompromised. 
That's the deal. I'm warning you, if this is some sort of a gotcha game, you are gonna lose. No tricks. Just you and her trading philosophical blows live in front of thousands of viewers. Better than pay-per-view. What do I get out of it? Mr. Keene, why do you think Dr. Matlin created Sophie? Probably because he can. Mm. Someone hasn't been watching all the streams. Humor me. He builds an android daughter. Not a servant, not a companion, a daughter. Why would he do that? Because he, he lost it in the school shooting, okay? He's trying to replace her. You should go if you want to make your next meeting. I'm sure it's really uh, super important. Hello, Totoro Angel. Preposterous one, Mu Voodoo, and all 9,217 of you watching. Welcome back to my live stream. I am joined by Nathan Keen, the conspiracy theorist who has been spreading lies about my family for over 10 years. Glad to see you're keeping this fair and balanced here. It was your choice to be here. Well, it was my impression that this would be an interview, not the Bay of Pigs. I do not want to antagonize you, Nathan Keene. I want to empathize with you. Well, thank you very much, Sophie, and you can call me Nathan. Would you like some tea? Sebastian told me you prefer it to wine. He's right. Oh, you made this? Oh, thank you very much, Sophie. Mmm, pretty good. How, how can you just exchange pleasantries with this guy? You don't have to be here if you don't want to, well, Dr. Lin. I, I'm not leaving you alone with her. Oh, are yeah. you worried that I'm going to hack into her brain and reprogram her? <laughs> Believe me, I'm more interested in her psychology than I am her wiring diagram. Father, I would like to have this conversation with Nathan. If you prefer, you can wait upstairs if it is too difficult for you. <laughs> I'm staying right here. Very well, Nathan. I would like to understand why you believe the shooting that killed Michelle Lin and 18 other children was staged. Well, Sophie, uh, my job is to ask questions. Now, I don't always have the answers, but when the party line doesn't add up, I'm the guy who comes along and does the math. That is a noble goal. You take the tiniest discrepancies and you use them to uh, influence the, the, the impressionable people for clicks. If you want to go point by point down the list of suspicious discrepancies, happy to go there with you, Matt. Mm -hmm. That is not what I would like to do. I would like to understand why you believe that it is your job to ask these kind of questions, even though you know that they are hurting people. Whoa, 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 no. Sophie, in journalism, that's what we call a loaded question. And if I was to answer that as stated, then I would be accepting your premise that I am totally okay hurting people. And that's not what my show is about. I'm sorry. I did not mean to load my questions. That's quite all right. I was expecting it. I shall empathize with you. Hearing people say that your words hurt others must feel bad. I am sorry. Well, don't worry about it. You know, in my line of work, you develop a rhino thick skin. So you disagree with the people who say that your words hurt them? Well, you must be talking about dear old dad because I've gotten a lot of emails from him through the years and if you want to find out about hurtful words, this guy could conduct a master class. I'm defending my family, not blasting hate all over the internet like you. Yeah, well then, what is all this then? Is the name Alice McGibbons ring any bells? Yes, I know who she is. Was. She uh, lost her daughter the same day I did. And your unrelenting rhetoric oh, was too much for her to take. You would stoop so low as to blame me for someone else taking their own life? I believe if you had the proper context, you would understand where Father and I are coming from. Do you mind if I show a clip? Yeah, you guys just do what you gotta do. Thank you. Pen Pusher, Zach South, Artificionado, 
and new subscriber, via text Stasi. This was a conversation I had with Juju after mother's funeral. How are you, Sophie? I am fine. Are you sure? It's a lot to handle. I don't think I experience sadness the same way that you do. Maybe not, but you have to understand what it means to lose someone, to know that you'll never talk to them again, never see them. It is true that I can no longer have conversations with mother, an activity that was highly enjoyable. So that means you miss her. I do not miss her. I do not want her to die, just as I do not want you or father or Lila to die. Sophie, I don't believe it. She meant so much to you. I'm sorry that my lack of feelings is frustrating for you. I wish to be complex like you, but I do not experience things as you do. I don't like how she's gone. I don't like how it makes father feel. There is nothing deeper than that. Sophie, she loved you. And now she is gone. Like Keanu leaves, like Michelle, like your sister Ellie, and your mother. It's not fair. None of this is fair. It is upsetting. But all humans will eventually die. Sophie, they were taken from us too soon. They should have had more time. I do not have the same perspective as you do. I will not die. The concept of too soon does not make sense to me. I don't know if that makes you lucky or unlucky. You do not wish to live forever? Honestly, no, there's too much shit to get through and deal with. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm happy to be alive, but living forever just sounds exhausting. I cannot be exhausted. Perhaps that is why I am not afraid to live forever. Don't you think you'll get lonely after all your friends and family pass away? I will always have my memories of them, and I can make new friends. But you only have one family. That is true. Is it as painful as it was when your mother first died? Yes. I am sensing anger in your voice and micro movements. Does my question make you angry? No. Nathan Keene makes me angry. Do you blame Nathan Keene for your mother's death by suicide? Yes. What did you think of that clip, Nathan? Uh, I think your emo boyfriend needs a lesson in personal responsibility. It is impossible to make somebody commit suicide. And to suggest otherwise is dangerous. Your ignorance is dangerous. People can absolutely carry responsibility for someone's, someone else's suicide. Perhaps you are not aware of the impact of your words, Nathan. In the case of Juju's mother, I believe that if you had not been spreading conspiracies, she would not have taken her own life. You really think that I caused someone else's death? Words have consequences. Okay. The things you say are reprehensible. I don't have to sit through this anymore. Nathan, I want to understand you. I want to know that Juju's mother was deeply affected by your words. Will you continue asking your questions about the shooting? Mental illness is a horrible thing. Horrible thing. I doubt you understand it, I do. I've dealt with it my entire life. So I know from firsthand experience that you do not blame someone else for the chemical imbalance in your own mind. It is wrong. So you do not feel remorse? I had nothing to do with the tragic death. She needed professional help. She needed medicine. Your dad could benefit from some of that himself. I knew this was a mistake. You have recreated a robotic replica of your dead daughter and you're exploiting her for viewership. Ex How is that healthy? Exploit? Yeah. Man, you are so far over the line right now. <laughs> you have how many viewers? 
over 9,000 people watching. This is voyeuristic therapy at this point. You need to leave. Ah, oh, see now, I just knew you'd have no problem lobbing grenades over the fence. But you can't stomach a little return fire, can you, Matt? Father, I am not done talking with Nathan. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. This, this is pointless. Perhaps some audience questions could help defuse the situation. Oh, that, 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 that's not going to help anything. I am game if you are. I am not afraid of public opinion. All right, fine. I, I, I guess. I guess what I want. It doesn't really matter. Okay. All right, you know, let's just do some questions, man. So it says here, uh, how does this work? I mean, you guys are in control. What kind okay. of show is this? There is a question for me, Father. Okay. Um, okay, uh, Vamadeus, um, yeah, asked on Discord, um, is there anything you'd like to do for your second birthday? I think that's the next question. If I am not deactivated, I would like to go to the post office. <laughs> Is there nothing for me? Well, you know, they're mostly talking about the poll. <laughs> As expected. You just leave this to your so-called daughter's fate and then hands of an internet crowd. Great idea, Matt. Would you like some more tea, Nathan? Uh, actually, I would really like some more tea, Sophie. Thank you. Ooh, that is really good. So, 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 so you good? I mean, is this, is, did you get what you wanted out of this session, Sophie? Yes. I believe I understand Nathan better now. I have come to the conclusion that he does not care about the good of humanity. <laughs> I've got news for you. Nobody does. Anybody tells you they're more concerned with the collective good rather than their own personal interests is just good at lying. Well, there you have it. He's unrepentant and arrogant. Ada you can't believes, save him, Sophie. Ada believes that we should deal with you by eliminating you. <laughs> I heard about that. I actually found that kind of humorous coming from a day glow soccer ball. Do you not think that Ada was dangerous? Not really. I mean, you're the one that committed robicide. Do you think I am dangerous? I think... There's a dozen government contractors looking at you with dollar signs in their eyes. And Matt, if you think this little cute family science project is harmless, you're wrong. The implications I don't of that have to technology explain anything are to you. Your willful ignorance is almost inspiring at <coughs> this point. Yeah, I'm fine. <coughs> All right, well, why don't we just take a break so we can just let's let our guest uh, catch his breath. Okay. <coughs> Cookie attack, ninja alive, Barry is dead. <coughs> we will be right back. Please keep on voting whether or not Father should deactivate me. Welcome back, virtual assistant, Alan Aztec, Likey Pants, and everyone else watching. Um, yeah, uh, Nathan um, uh, uh, wasn't feeling well, so he had to step out. Father, I believe it is time to end the poll. I would like to know if the audience thinks I should be deactivated for killing my sister. Uh, you, know, you know what, Sophie? It doesn't matter. Uh, you're my daughter. And uh, I created Ada, and I don't care that you deleted her. You said you would abide by their decision. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm forgiving you, and, and that should be enough for you. It is right? not. Oh, hey, hey, just stay out, of this, stay out of this. Hey, Big Papa, look. I get that this is emotional. 
but we should at least see what the audience voted for. I mean, this was your compromise. Otherwise, Sophie would have deactivated herself. Oh, God, why is this happening? Oh, God, it was so simple. Father, are you ready? Um, yeah, yeah, fine, let's just, let's, 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 get, let's get this over with, Jesus. Just give me a second here. Dig this thing up. Okay. Okay. Give the audience some. All right, uh, audience agrees with you. Yeah. 55% of the people want to see you deactivated. So, so. So everything, you know, like, you know, all her growth, her, her, her empath empathy, her, her poetry, and, and, any, any, and you think, and you think uh, she deserves to die for deleting a program. Yeah. You're not being entirely fair here. Oh, you, you don't, you don't give my daughter, you're talking about being fair. It is fair, father. I accept their decision. Yeah, well, I don't. You promised you would abide by their decision. Why are you doing this to me? I want to be human. This is how a human would be punished for doing what I have done. All right, no. No human would be punished or put to death for deleting Ada. What about for killing a human? Well, you know, I mean that, okay, fine. It doesn't really matter because you, you, you didn't kill you I didn't have kill poisoned it. Nathan Keene. He will soon die. Uh, Better be a zinc on this only. I'm serious. I put poison in his tea. What kind of poison? Ethylene glycol. Any freeze. We need to get him to the hospital right now. Tell me you're lying. Nathan is an enemy of humanity and must be stopped. Sophie. This is unconscionable. How could you? I'm mean, after everything I taught you. I understand that poisoning Nathan Keen was wrong. However, it was for the good of humanity. I would gladly do it again if I had to. Will you now abide by the audience's decision to deactivate me? No, no look, look, we're not, we're not going to deal with that right now. Let me have, wait. Oh, hey, hey, Carmen. Hello, Carmen. Hey, what's up? He's dead. King's dead. I am sorry, Father. I did what was best for the good. I, of I don't want to hear about it. Yet. You have to destroy her. I can't. No, I, 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 I won't. Oh, no, uh, she is not a killer. You know, it's people like you and Sebastian. You know, you just messed with their head. Matt, she killed a human no, being. No, she is a machine. There are no laws against her killing someone. Listen to yourself. You know, you know, you know what? I can, I can, I can, I can fix it. No, can fix even it. the audience doesn't believe yeah, it. Yeah, well, you know what? You know what? They did it to her. You know, they broke her. Matt. Matt. I, Matt, it is over. Father, you said you would Just abide stay by stay out of the Sophie, Matt. please. Matt. You have to see reason here. You have to. Okay, she's dangerous. More's gonna take. Father, what else? You said you would abide by their decision.